Hello and welcome to another wonderful episode of I Have No Idea What I'm Doing. I am your host Ben and as I mentioned I have no idea what I'm doing except for I do know we are doing this test again. Uh, I don't know if you're getting bored of this test. This, this is nothing compared to what I normally do. To test, to get to the uh, the 24 mil speaker, I I spent literally weeks with speakers and testing and variations and going on and on and on and on and it took it took weeks to pick the 24 mil speaker. So uh, before I go any further. Uh, I have said thank you to this person already, uh, but I just want to uh, say thank you one more time to uh, the gentleman for providing this 28 mil speaker. I'm not going to mention your name because I don't know if he wants me to or not, but thank you so much for sending me the Smuggler's Outpost 28 mil uh, 3 watt 4 ohm bass speaker. <laughs> I said it in one go. So I really appreciate you doing that, honestly. And also, I do want to say thank you to Jim at Full Command of Force as the kick-ass, absolutely awesome intro to this video was made by him. I never asked for it, he just decided it. He, I think he has a bit of an obsession, uh, but he's an amazing guy. Uh, if you want to check out any uh, absolutely amazing, I mean, these, his video reviews um, on Sabres, not just mine, but all of them, are really, really good. So if you want to see some really cool Star Wars content, Star Wars Sabres, um, reviews get to his channel it's Fulcrum and the Force uh, he also does some really cool Lego Star Wars builds as well so if you like your Lego and you're into Star Wars it's a perfect match of two things um, and he does some brilliant there he's also got Rebel Radio where he does every week uh, they do a podcast with him and a, a very lovely young lady uh, I'm, uh, I, I think it's a Jedi princess I, I am sorry if I've got that wrong um, I, I always forget her name uh, but uh, thank you to both of you uh, for helping. I, I, I can't thank you enough. I really appreciate it. So we did the first test, which wasn't very good with the two speakers to see which was best. And it was a bit meh. So then we did another test where I, I amped, ramped up what we were doing. Um, and then, like I said before, uh, we've got the 1-inch or the 28mm uh, bass speaker from Smuggler's Outpost here with a 1-inch resonance. Uh, we have my speaker, which is a 24mm bass speaker, 3 watt 4 ohm. So they're both 3 watt 4 ohm uh, with 1 inch of resonance on this side. Um, and um, we're going to, instead of testing it with an RGB, I have now got a Xenopixel V3. Please excuse all the wires. It is a little bit of a mess. I do apologise. Um, this is a testing board I'm doing right now. Uh, and uh, it, it's, it's just something I had to put together. I have got... Uh, the uh, LED plugged in as well. So I'm going to test this. It has a button turned on to it, which is great. And first and foremost, before I go any further, uh, there's two things I need to do. Thank you to Grayscale Sound Fonts. Uh, I will put a link in the description to Fulcrum and the Force and Grayscale th Sound Fonts uh, because he has been incredibly kind and he has allowed me to borrow allow me to have a couple of sound fonts from his site uh, he gives away he has a number of free sound fonts guys so if you've bought a xenopixel from me a v2 or v3 uh, which can uh, allow you to install your own sounds if you've done that and you've got that from me um, then this is your chance to to actually just go to his store which is grayscale sound fonts i'll double check it i will put a link um, in this as well. So it's grace, it's called grayscalefonts.com um, link below and he has a number of free sound fonts on there that you can download for Xenopixel. Just make sure you, did, you do, do what I didn't do which is that when you uh, get the zip file there's a first folder and that's for Mac iOS. The last folder is for Windows. If you try to do the Mac one, it will fail saying file not recognized or something like that. Uh, so you go to the last one for Windows, uh, which is the one I needed, and then it just downloads to your computer, which is fantastic. I would strongly recommend creating a folder to download it into when you extract everything, uh, just to keep it all neat and tidy. Um, see, uh, so the second thing is, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a sound font, it will always be the 24mm 20 speaker first, there's two sound fonts to do today, 
Uh, so I will always start with the 24 mil speaker and then on screen it'll come three, two, one, and then it'll just jump to the uh, 28 mil uh, smugglers outpost speaker. So that's how that will happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you how I did the, um, the, the transferring of the folders from the computer over to the SD card. So I'm going to put that on now. Uh, and you can actually see how I did that. The, it is recording through my mic speaker, not the camcorder, um, so it will be a bit different in uh, audio, but once that's done, you'll come back to me on the camcorder. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, so here we are at the moment. Uh, this is the uh, SD card that I have plugged into my computer. So I'm going to open this, and as you can see, these are all the files inside uh, the SD card. So we've got font 1 all the way to font 34, which is on the Xenopixel V3. Uh, this is the settings folder, which controls lots of different things, which I'm not going to use today. For this test, I'm going to delete all the sound fonts apart from two. Before you do anything on these, always always copy and save the entire folder to your computer. Do not do anything before um, before doing that. Otherwise, if something goes wrong, you are in serious trouble. Right, okay, so thank you to Grayscale Fonts for being so incredibly amazing and allowing me to do this test with their, uh, with their fonts. I'm going to now go to the folder containing um, uh, all their information. So I'm just gonna open number one. And I'm actually going to delete everything in there now. So number one folder is empty. I'm going to do that to number two as well. So delete everything in here. And we'll go back. I'm now going to open the first folder of the Grayscale fonts. And here we have the first folder. I've named it Grayscale fonts. I'm going to select, oops, I'm going to select all and then I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to go back to the uh, folder that we just cleared off the SD card. Okay, so we're back to the SD card. I'm going to open number one, and then I'm going to paste everything from that grayscale folder into here. So that's now all done. I'm now going to go to the uh, main screen for this, and we're going to get the second folder. So I'm just going to go to the next grayscale folder I've created. Okay, so here we are at the next grace, uh, next one. I'm going to select all, I'm going to copy that and go back. Okay, and we're back onto the SD card. Go to this folder, and I'm going to paste everything into this folder. So the whole lot is there. And now I'm going to remove the SD card and we're going to go back to me on the cam. So Okay, so that was me doing the sound fonts, uh, transferring from the computer, uh, download, uh, da transferring it from the computer onto the SD card. It's a really simple process. It's literally drag and drop. I did it in a certain way. Uh, you can. It is even easier to do it than than the way I did it. Uh, just have to two fold. You just have the SD card folder open and your sound font. Just open that, drag, select all, drag and drop it. You're done. Easy as heck. Again. Thank you so much to Grayscale Sound Fonts. Uh, sorry, Grayscale Fonts for letting me uh, use the two free sound fonts for this test. Uh, right, so uh, I'm going to pan the camera down, and we are going to see how it sounds. Again, remember, every single one of these demos, it will start with the 24 mil speaker. It will then go to the 28 mil speaker and before it does I'll have it on screen uh, three uh, plus four three two one and then it'll jump to the thing I'm cutting everything out it's sound font to sound font so you can hear how different it really is um, so I will uh, pan the camera down now okay right so oops right so that's me being silly. So this is a 24 mil speaker. It's starting now. Power on.
Right, well there you have it guys, it was just a very very small test, um, we did the 24mm speaker, we went to the 28mm speaker, uh, unfortunately the board has uh, broken, it still works but the audio is no longer coming out of the board, I think the reason for that is because uh, I was swapping speakers while it was active and I don't think the board liked that at all, it just will not do anything now. Um, and I don't have another board to use. So, very disappointing. Um, yeah, <clears throat> bit gutted. But let me know your thoughts. Um, I don't think the cutting out of the audio was because of the speaker. I think that's because the board didn't like me swapping from 24 to 28 while it was still turned on. I should have turned it off. I'm doing it that way. <laughs>